you guys really liked my reaction video to the Mambi stickers that are coming out, the new release stickers, so I thought I would give you my take on the new planners that are coming out as well. And just a little backstory, I have always been an 18 month planner person, but I am now in a 12 month planner because Daily Details is like my soul sister planner. I love her. She's like my favorite. I love that planner so much, but that's a tangent. So I saw all of the different videos on the planners. I haven't watched them yet, but instead of making this video like two hours, I thought I would choose the one that would be the most relevant to me. Now, it looks like most of the stickers are gonna be on sale at Joann's. So I will probably end up there anyway. So I thought I would just react to the Joann's planners because I'm probably not gonna hunt around for the planners like I would for the stickers, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna share my thoughts on the Joann's planners. If you wanna see reactions to the Hobby Lobby ones or the Michaels ones or the Walmart or any of the other ones, leave that down in the comments below and I would be happy to react to those as well. So the Mambi video is 35 minutes long, so get your coffee. I have mine right here, so get something to drink, something to snack on, because this video could be lengthy. So hang tight and we will we will react to the Mambi planners coming out. I do love a good mini dashboard. Okay, oh, the colors are really cute. Very cute. Okay, and the dashboard layout. Yeah, that's really cute. I like that. That's really cute. What's for dinner? Oh, it does have the what's for dinner still in there. I like that a lot. That was something that I really like about the Super Mom one. So I like that. That's really cute. And I love the covers. I'm someone that will buy a planner just for covers and then like sell or give away the inside. So I really like the covers on here. Super cute. These are really fun. Oh, I love the avocado and the cones. That's really cute. This one is just super bright and super fun. So if that is something that you're into and you're looking for in your planner, that is gonna be something you wanna check out. Pop events. Okay, so the dashboard, just to take a closer look at the dashboard, it does have a currently section. It does have your top events. It has three years at the top, so if you need to reflect on your year, that's not something that I look for in my planners, so that might kind of turn me off personally to this one, but if you have something that you like, if you use those little like snapshot years, this might be a good planner for you. Okay, and then the notes sheet. I always wish that some of these planners had more of the coordinated notes sheets, just because like I am gonna write more than one page of notes throughout a year probably, so that's just something that I look for in my planners, but that one was really cute. Okay, and the donuts. I love the donuts on the cover, that's really cute. Okay, Vintage Botanical. This one's a mini and it's a horizontal, so this is like their standard mini layout. Oh, the inside of that cover, that's cute. I would flip those covers if it were me. I like that a lot. Okay, so just looking at the dashboard, it's a little bit hard to see, but it looks like it might just be notes or dot grid. That's cute. And then a birthday section down at the bottom. Okay, and then I do like how they block out the black lines on this. If this were my planner though, I would not, I don't think I would like the floral on the weekly layout because I mean, there are lots of colors there to look at, but I don't think, yeah, I don't think that would be for me because you know, if you wanted to do a different layout that week, you would either have to coordinate to those colors. That's a lot to try to cover up if you're gonna cover it up. But I do love the peach discs that this one has going on. That's really cute. This one almost looks like a florally farmhouse kind of version. Really cute, very cute. Okay, December. I like all the quotes in here too. I like that a lot. And they almost look like watercolor illustrations. They're really cute. And the gold foiling throughout, that is gorgeous. And the black with like the mustard and the deep yellow. I said that about the sticker book the other day when the video went up, and I think it was yesterday. So whenever you're seeing this, but that's really cute. I love those colors together. Okay, and then your notes sheet, and then the polka dots on the back. That's cute. I like that one a lot. So if I were looking for a horizontal mini, that, that's a cute one. I mean, does Happy Planner really have a planner that's not cute? Okay, Sugar and Type. This one, I love it. I saw pictures of it in a group. I love that it's neutral, the black and the blush. It's really cute. I like this one a lot. If I were gonna go for a horizontal mini, this would be probably the one that I was gonna pick. 
Yep, super neutral. I like also, so it has a little currently section on the dashboard, and then it has a noted section and an important section and your important dates at the bottom. It's a super simple, super functional dashboard, but still kind of fun. Again, it has the three years across the top, and for me, that's just kind of wasted space in my planner, so I probably, probably would cover that up or something if this was the one that I went with. If I was getting a horizontal planner, which I don't think I am, I don't know if this one's on my list, it might be on my list for covers, but <laughs> we'll see. It is really cute. I just love to see all of the new Mambi designs because they do it so well. Their design team, the people who do their graphics and stuff, they're just, they're very talented. Okay, cute. And I love the quotes in, these, in this one specifically too because it's almost like girl boss quotes, like see yourself the way others see you, you can do anything. It's just like very inspiring and like kind of get to work quotes. So I like that a lot, super cute. Find your voice, yes, very cute. Again with the buffalo plaid, very cute, yes. They're all cute. And if you can guess how many times I say cute throughout this video, leave that down in the comments below. Or if you count, let me know the exact number. Okay, so now we have Pastel Tropics in the mini. They did a sticker book of this one too. That cover is cute with like the, the tropical birds. I don't wanna name them wrong. I wanna say pelican, maybe a pelican. Okay. Oh, I like this different setup for the monthly. So the squares are like white and then it's pink around. So it kind of like sets off those monthly boxes. I think that's cute. The leopard print down the middle of the weeklies and the mini vertical. Okay, I've not seen anybody. Actually, I saw one person. Kimberly Lauren did a plan with me in a mini vertical. It, was, it looked really cute. I just don't know which stickers would fit, fit in here. So if you're using a mini vertical, let me know that down in the comments below. Do the mini stickers fit in there? I mean, of course, like the icons and stuff would fit, but like, what do you do about the boxes and stuff? Let me know that if you're using one. Okay, the dashboard. So this one's pretty simple. It's got some note space. Then you've got get it done and important dates. And that's it. That would be a dashboard I would love. And if you are someone who uses a planner that is kind of the same theme throughout the year, and it doesn't necessarily go in a seasonal pattern, let me know that down in the comments below. I would have a hard time using a planner that, you know, like super bright in the middle of December. I think that would bug me, but it's still, you know, I like this one. Oh, the sloth. I like the sloth. Very cute. Said it again. Super cute. Okay, so then you have take note and your birds on the back. I love the black striping with that on the cover too. Cute. Okay, Southern Preppy. So this one's a mini dashboard and these minis, they look like they're about 12 months instead of the 18 months for the classics. Okay, Southern Preppy. Oh, the lemons on that cover. I like that a lot. I really like the lemon covers that they've been doing with the yellow discs. Heather Kell is right. The yellow discs are super cute. I really like that. Okay, oh, and the plaid to begin with, also cute. Yes, okay, so the dashboard, you have monthly goals, you have your important dates, notes, and then remember this. So, I don't know, I have a hard time with those kind of dashboards where you have your important dates and then you remember this. Maybe it's like a goal you have to do or something big and important, but like I, in my mind, I don't separate the important dates from like remember this, especially on a dashboard. That's just me. Okay, monthly. So the weekends are shaded on the monthly on this one. So that would be something to look out for. For me personally, I'm not a big fan of shaded weekends because I feel like it kind of messes up my layout if I'm gonna do a different color scheme than what they have going on there. But if that doesn't bug you, this might be one to look at, but for me, since I'm reacting. That would not be something that I would like in this one. Okay, so this one also has like the gold foil in there. All right, I like how they show you in these videos like the weekly flip through and then for the other months, they just kind of flip through the dividers. This one has some leopard print in it too, that's cute. There's beauty and simplicity. This one's not super simple. Oh, I like that rainbow leopard print. That's pretty. Happy girls are the prettiest. Oh, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. That's for sure. That one's cute. Although, okay, on that one, I'm not really getting why they called it Southern Preppy. If anybody can let me know that down in the comments. It looks more like, I don't know, really bright to me. It doesn't look like a Southern Preppy. Like when I think of Southern Preppy, I guess I think of like florals and farmhouse and maybe like, collared shirts or whatever, but yeah, I don't know. That one didn't strike me as Southern preppy, but it's definitely cute. All right, coastal vibes. I've seen a lot of the beach ones and those ones, they sell a lot of those ones. <gasps> the discs on this one are like ombre, I just noticed that. So they start with like the lighter mint and go down and then you get to like that turquoise and then it goes back the other way. That is really pretty. 
I like that on the beach planner. I like how they've been playing with like the disc colors. That's really cute. Okay, and your dashboard. So you've just got notes and monthly goals and then important dates. Boom, done. Very functional dashboard. I like that. Okay, the monthlies are pretty simple. Okay, on this horizontal one, I like that they leave the space at the bottom, at least on this week, where you can like have a little checklist space. I think that's really great to have like a weekly checklist just kind of ongoing that's awesome oh they have it on every day oh almost okay so that one has a quote and then another checklist i would like the checklist on every week that's a good idea and i like in this one too how it has the black and like the silver foil with the blue and the turquoise i like that take on like beach this almost reminds me of like oregon coast because of the color palette and kind of, it just kind of gives me that vibe, like that Oregon Coast vibe, instead of more like a tropical coast. That is really pretty. Okay, choose to shine. So this is gonna be the mini monthly. Shimmer, sparkle, starry-eyed, shine the light from inside. That's cute. Okay, a yellow cover. Oh, that's that print is from the first Be Happy box. I love that they're putting that into a planner. That's pretty. There's your two years on two pages. Okay, the dashboard. So this dashboard is pretty busy. So if you're looking for a dashboard that does a lot of things, this might work for you. I think, again, this would be too busy for me for a monthly, but I do like how it does not have the three extra months at the top. I like how all the space is being used. So I guess there's pluses and minuses about this one. Okay, I do like the quotes and the printing and all of the colors though. Okay, and then the dashboard. I love that this has all the quotes in it. Really, I like that a lot. And I like the font that they chose for this one. This one, again, it's like a, it's very goal driven. It reminds me of like, what it would be if it were like a goal type planner just because of the quotes that are in here. Oh, the watercolor florals, that's really pretty. Yeah, this one's great, okay, perfect. And then polka dots and an all yellow back cover. That's super cute. All right, Pastel Tropics. So this is the classic version. I love all the discs on that one. And the pink Hey There sheet. Okay, these are the ones that I'm really looking at because I'm not necessarily in the market for a mini. I kind of have my mini set. So I'm not really looking at those right now. This dashboard is similar to the mini one. Okay. And the monthly is similar to the mini as well. And then it's just the vertical layout. Okay, the leopard print down the middle is the same as the mini. That's cute. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. It's probably not one that I would choose for myself just because it doesn't have, again, the seasonal elements, but it is really pretty. I don't think there's a Mambi planner that I don't think is pretty. I think they do real, a great job with all of their graphics and stuff. And I do love that Mambi makes something for everybody. Like there's a planner for everybody out there. Okay, you got your toucan. Okay, and there's 18 months, so these take a while for them to flip through. Okay, leopard print. It'll be interesting to see which dividers are in here that are not in the other ones too. Oh, pretty. I really like the black and white pattern. I like how a lot of these are colorful with some like black and white in there too. I like that a lot. Okay, Southern Preppy Classic Vertical Hourly. Okay, so if you're looking for an hourly, oh, so on this one, I don't like how they put the florals on this cover. I wish it was the lemons on the cover again. I really liked that lemon cover. But I mean, the rose gold is pretty, but it's not my favorite. I also don't necessarily like it when covers have the year on them because I'm someone who likes to reuse my covers and you know use them in different years. So uh, that one's just okay. I do like the plaid on the inside of the cover though. That is pretty. Okay, you've got some palm leaves. The dashboard looks similar to the mini and then shaded weekends on the monthly. The weekly does not have shaded weekends and it is an hourly, so. It is cute if you're looking for an hourly. If you're a decorative person though, you might be a little bit limited just because of the lemons on the bottom. But I mean, in July, you might be using a lot of yellow anyways. Cute, that's like a greenish leopard print. That's pretty. Oh, there's that squeeze the day. Okay, so they use it on a divider instead of the cover. Oh, pink leopard print, I like that. Right next to the, the bold leopard print. And the stripes, oh, that's cute, the peach plaid. All right, so that one's pretty. Again, it's not my 100% favorite. It's probably not what I would choose for myself. This one is really cute, the unicorn. Okay, the inside cover and the front cover, gorgeous. And I can't tell, are those lavender translucent discs? They might be. That's pretty, super cute. And I like how they put the stars in here. I love the planners with the stars in them. Okay, so the dashboard on this one, just cause we didn't see it in a mini yet. So monthly goals, important dates, and then write it down. So you have a little note space, you have space to keep track of your monthly goals, and then your important dates. 
I think that's a very functional dashboard. I like it. I like how it doesn't have the years on it too. Very pretty. And the monthly, it's just very simple. And so the hourly and the lined planners look very similar to me. You have your top three goals this week. Mm -hmm. I like the font in this one too. This one, again, you're gonna be a little bit limited if you're a decorative planner, just because there is a lot of that watercolor on there on the weekly, but if that doesn't bug you. I kind of like my weekly to be a little bit more clean, but that's just me personally. Pretty. I like that the unicorn is throughout. It's kind of like the theme here. I like that one. I like how that looks like the cover. Oh, the little unicorns. That's really cute. Okay, let's get lost. So I saw pictures of this one, and I think this would be kind of like something that would be good for me, except I'm not a horizontal planner tried it it's just not my jam but I love this dashboard I mean there's pieces that I love and I don't love but for the most part like the parts where you write in I love it the monthly goals I love how it's blocked out the important dates and then your notes section I probably again would just ignore those years at the top but that's really pretty and the color palette in this one with the like mustard yellow and the dark deep red I think that's gorgeous. It's just really easy to read. The font in here is just super easy to read. It just looks like something that someone, you know, in Oregon or Portland would have. It's just, that's what it looks like, you know, with all the trees and the mountains and those kind of florals. That's what, it just reminds me of that. Adventure. Okay, and we have that mustard again. So the colors do kind of repeat. Oh, there's some lavender in there too. I didn't see that before. Explore more, travel often. Yeah, it's just very like woodsy. It's really pretty. The silver foil in this one is cool too. I like how it kind of goes with those things. Okay, so the back cover has those black stripes. Foodie, okay, this one is on my list, the recipe organizer. This one is really cute. I love all of the doodles in here. Okay, so first we have like kitchen conversions. I love that on the favorites tab, it has the taco rolls. That's really cute. So kitchen conversions and other notes is the backside of that. And then the tabs we can see so far are favorites, main dishes, small dishes, soups and salads. And we'll see, see what's next. Okay, the colors in here, I love that they're just kind of like soft. And then the directions sheet, so your actual recipe card. You've got ingredients, prep time, cook time, serves how many people, notes and directions. So it's similar to the other recipe planner, but a little different. Okay, so you've got good food, good mood on your main dishes. I wonder if you could get extra recipe cards or if you would just have to buy two of these if you had more. I would always be afraid I would run out. That's like my biggest fear <laughs> with any of these kind of planners that are ongoing. I feel like I would run out. Okay, so then healthy. Then you've got breakfast, dessert, and it looks like miscellaneous down there. I love the, the carrots on the healthy. That's really cute. Okay, brunch society on the breakfast tab. That's cute. And the avocado toast. Oh, I really like that. The doodles, they just get me every time. I love them. Super cute. And I didn't even talk about those lime green discs, you guys. Those are adorable. Don't be eye candy, be soul food. That's adorable. Oh, and we have like an extra. So this is like a grocery list. I think it says market list at the top. And it looks like it's either like a sticky pad or they're just like attached together maybe. That's really cool. So you could just kind of like tear and go. I wish more of those would come in there because that'd be like a week's worth <laughs> of grocery planning for me. Okay, so the next one, let's see. Okay, this is the teacher planner. This one is on my list too. Number one for the covers because I love a good teacher cover, but I'm considering trying to teach your planner again because I'm gonna have a lot kind of going on next year. I love this, like right off the bat, love this. This is my jam and this is a cover where I'm totally fine with there being the years on there because, you know, for your school years, 2019, 2020, although I would like something that I could reuse. Okay, so teacher edition, the books on the inside. I like that a lot. Okay, so you've got your 2019, 2020 academic calendar. You're for the substitute. That doesn't really apply to me since I work in online school. I don't need to get a sub. I love the doodles in here, you guys. That's really cute. And the monthly is very plain. I like the watercolor on the weekly. I like the weekly a lot. And I do like the lines. Like I've been kind of like anti-teacher planner before, but I don't know. I think I might be kind of coming around to the teacher layout. Oh, the quotes in here and the little desks. Oh, you guys, I like this one so much. If I'm gonna get a teacher planner, this one might be on my list. How you finish is what they will remember. Mm -hmm. May your coffee be strong and your students be calm. Yes, 
always. Okay, and then you have your teacher checklists in the back. So you could use those for attendance, you could use them just to track things that are going on with kids. Vintage Botanical, classic monthly. So we saw this one in mini already, but I do. I love the color palette. The black is just super like chic and pretty. And it looks like there's not a dashboard. It's just like a monthly notes page. Really cute, except you have like your birthdays and dates to remember down here. But other than that, it's notes. So I like that personally. That's something I like. And then as far as the monthly, you've got your habit trackers, monthly goals, check it off, noted, top priorities, gratitude. I like that there's a gratitude section. If that was in the mini, I didn't see it. I might have to go back and rewatch these videos. Sometimes I have to watch them like two or three times to, to get everything that they have. I do like that it's more of a neutral monthly. A lot of the monthlies they've made before are kind of like bright. I like that this is an option for people. Okay, wild and free. Again, the color palette, that mustard yellow that they're working with and the deep red. I love it love it so much yeah I love that it's like kind of goal oriented as well and that blush with the black that floral divider that's on the back of the inside cover that is everything for me and the font in here I like that it's really easy to read that's really cute okay and the back cover again I just love that I wish that was the front cover honestly like that would draw me in a little more that's pretty okay sugar and type so this one is super super cute I love it and if I was gonna get this one I might even just get it for the covers because it is adorable we have a currently section on the dashboard the monthly is really plain which is kind of cool I like that the whole thing is somewhat neutral yes okay but it is a horizontal so for those of you folks who like neutral and horizontal this one is gonna be your jam word of the week that's cute I might even implement that in my other planner that's a really good idea. You are exactly where you need to be today. Again, I love all the quotes in this one. Just like I was saying about the mini version. I think it's really cute. Self love club. Be kind to yourself and to others. Mm -hmm. So this one is just very like inspiring. The quotes are like, I don't know, they just make me want to be productive. And I think that's probably the point of a planner and the quotes in there. Okay. And we are just about halfway done. So there is more to come. So I hope that you guys are getting your snack refills and taking me with you on your phone. So if you've made it this long, give me a thumbs up. Okay, that is really cute. More and more and more happy. Sprinkle kindness. Okay, this is gonna be, I think the donut one again. Yes. Okay, that cover. Okay, this is the color block. So it's gonna be like a student version. The cover, I just, I die. Sometimes the brights just like suck me in. That's like my other alter ego. I love seasonal and I love brights. Cute. Okay, the color block layout, I do love. I have a socialite right now, so this is some of my, you know, some of my jam. I do like it a lot. It helps to kind of stay on track, and I think you can time block with the color block one a lot. So if you're a time block planner, that might be your jam. Don't stop believing. Dance it out, dance it out. Be ready to party, get it? <laughs> That's great. You are wonderful you colorful days ahead yes I do love all the colors in here like what more can I say that is still my favorite the avocado in the cone it's just it's amazing okay however I don't know if the flowers are working in here that last divider just had a flower I don't know that doesn't necessarily work for me but maybe maybe it goes okay with the cactuses I guess you do have some floral elements okay okay I'll take it I'll accept it <laughs> okay and then you also have your Travel the world divider, super cute. Okay, that cover though, I love it. We rise by being kind. I might need that planner just for the cover. So if you see me pick it up, that might be why I get it. Wild at heart, classic vertical. Okay, stay wild, yes. This one is really pretty. It looks a lot like if farmhouse and then, what is that other one? The stars one, boho chic, boho dreams, had like a planner baby. This is what that one would be really pretty the font is easy to read okay and then your dashboard you've got jot it down you have december it's a little bit hard to see because it's bright and then you have okay and then we have what else is in there special days this month something so you've got like a note section it is hard to see because the video is a little bright but that's okay this color palette though, super pretty with all the stars and the moon. You guys know that I'm like a sucker for the stars and the moon. I said that when I saw the sticker book that went like, along with this one. Super cute, free spirit, 
So if you are someone who's into that like boho chic, but you want like a softer palette, this will definitely be the one for you. This is probably not a planner that I would use, but it might be one that I get for covers as well. I do love a good planner cover. Okay, these are gonna be the big planners. I'm not a big planner person, so I probably won't get any of these, but I'll give you kind of my first impression. Very similar to the classic. Okay, July, it's a big vertical, and you've got a really long checklist on the side. That's nice. You've got the leopard print again. Super cute. Yep, I like this one. And I've seen it before, so I think I'm gonna like fast forward to this one because, you know, we've talked about all the things in there before. It's looking very similar kind of fast forwarding through to make sure this video is not 10 years long, even though it already is probably. Okay, but the covers are a little different. So the lines are thicker and it's just one bird on there. So just a little, a little difference there. Okay, this is similar to the one we just saw. So everything looks very similar because, you know, it's just a larger size. So yeah, this one's cute. This one looks like a big dashboard layout. Okay, and just because, again, I've already seen this mostly, I'm just gonna kind of fast forward. I do love that the cover says, count your lucky stars. That's really pretty. Okay, one happy year, big. Okay, I didn't see this one before. It looks like it might be, is it a teacher layout? Yes, it's gonna be a teacher layout. So this will be your big size teacher planner from Joann's. That's cute. Okay, so this is your seasonal teacher. You have your, your weekends are shaded on the monthly, but the weekly pages are very like kind of, I don't know, just simple. There's not like a lot to them, which is nice, especially if you're doing a lot of your lesson planning for your classes. Yes, super cute. Yeah, I love, I love a seasonal planner, but I've tried a big teacher planner before and the big size is just too big for me. I'm either a mini or a classic pretty exclusively. And you'll hear me say that and then like next month I'll be trying big again. You guys know how it goes. I like to change things up, but right now that's just kind of where, where I'm at with it. Spring, that's cute. I love that each divider is similar, but it has its like own seasonal thing. So the font is, you know, all happening in the middle, you know, the big cursive there. And then, okay, this is just the checklist. That'd be a cute divider just to save. Big size checklists, very cute. Ah, that's a great, that's a great teacher planner. Again, it probably won't be on my list because it's a big, but okay, Southern Preppy Big Vertical Hourly, okay. So it looks similar to the classic. So I'm just gonna kind of fast forward through, see if there's anything different, but it looks very similar. So we already kind of talked about this one. I do still love that peach plaid. That's really cute. Oh, okay, so we have some box kits coming to Joanne. So this is the baby boy box kit. Okay, so you've got some sticky notes there. Yeah, I would put those sticky notes even in not a baby boy planner. I'm confused though because I, Let's see, I'm wondering if it's gonna be set up like a baby book where there's like prompted questions or if it's gonna be like a planner. So it's definitely undated. Oh, it says 2018, 2019 in the front. Welcome baby boy. So maybe this is like to document their first year as a memory planner. It's very possible. That's something you could do with it. So I was thinking it would be kind of like a baby book, but it looks like it's still in like the planner format to document. You could document it that way. Oh, month one. Okay, yes. So yes, month one, month two, month three. So yes, this is this is their first year. That's really kind of cool. I hadn't thought about a planner for like documenting your baby's first year. That's actually kind of neat. I like this. It's very creative. And I like the color palette. It's very soft and it's not very like masculine. I mean, you definitely would know this is for like a baby boy, although you could definitely do it for a baby girl too. Oh, it does say happy birthday, little boy. Oh, that's kind of cute. Month 12, it says happy birthday. I do like that. That's cute. Okay, then we have the baby girl box kit, the elephants. I love that they went with like the animals as the theme for the babies. And if you guys see me looking up, I'm just making sure <laughs> we haven't shut off yet because both of these, both of these clips are long. Oh, the purple, that's cute. Oh, it says, hello mama in the front. That's sweet. These would be really cute for gifts. If you're a friend of mine, you know what you're getting from me for a baby shower gift. <laughs> this is very cute. I like it. I love the coral and the purple. I just, I really like the color palettes that they went with on these. They're very soft. You know, they make me think of a baby, but they're still very, like, they're very trendy and cute. The black, again, with the color, I'm loving it. Oh, the rainbow. That's 
really sweet. I like that so much. Okay, that's similar to the baby boy one. Cute. Dear little one, you are loved more than you will ever know. Aww. This makes me want to like go back and like redocument my kids' first years. <laughs> like look at pictures and stuff. <laughs> I just love it. It's so cute. No more babies for us though. We're all done having babies, but it's definitely cute. Oh, I love it. Okay. And then there's a pregnancy box kit. Oh, that's cool. A pregnancy planner would be fantastic. I really actually like the font of those numbers. If anybody gets the pregnancy kit and doesn't use the numbers, send them here. Sometimes I just want to buy things because I like the stickers or like something that it comes with, <laughs> but I definitely don't need it. Oh, it comes with an envelope in the pregnancy kit so you can like keep your ultrasound pictures in there or you know like your prescriptions or whatever that's cool hello mama oh that's cute i love that the colors are kind of like gender neutral and you have all in the dashboard okay so on the dashboard you have like your appointments and all of the things very cute i would like merge this if i were pregnant with my like main planner to keep it like you know keep things together that's just me i'm totally a franken planner that's pretty let love grow oh that's so sweet growing a tiny human is exhausting i love that it's sweet but it has like those real elements too because growing a tiny human is exhausting that is for sure oh that's pretty though i like that a lot i really like the color palette in here the gray and the peach month nine. Oh, and then when the baby arrives Ain't no hood like motherhood. That's right, that's for sure. I really like that a lot. That is super cute. If I were pregnant or planning to be pregnant, I would get that. So all you prego mamas out there, pick one up. Okay, teacher classic box kit. Okay, you guys, this is in competition with the other one. I like this. I like that a lot. I like the washi. I'm not a washi person, but I might use that. Okay, you've got some little sticker extras as well in the teacher box kit. Teaching is a work of heart. Okay, this Happy Planner Teacher Edition. Let me count the discs. What size is this? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. So this is a classic. I think it already said classic, but I needed to double check. <gasps> you guys! <gasps> the 12 month layout, like the 12 month overview layout, you guys. That is I think I might have to get this one. I liked the other one, but now I'm 100% I'm in love with this. <laughs> okay, so we have goals. Let's see, student birthdays to do this month, events and holidays, and then what does that say down there? Like maybe a goal for this month? I think that's what the other ones have said. Okay, this one has shaded weekends in the monthly, eh, but it has that overview thing. That's cute. Oh, and you have some like green foil over there on that tab. I love, okay. So this is like a watercolory one, but it's very seasonal too. This is super cute. Oh, you guys. I think I might have to go back to a teacher planner next year. I don't know, it's super cute. Teacher planner for my work planner or student layout. I don't know, only the brave teach. No, that's for real. That is for real. Teaching is tough, but so are you. Oh, that's nice but it's really true. <laughs> like teaching is hard, but I love it. Honestly, like I think I would get bored at a job that didn't have as much to do as I have to do. Teacher's gonna teach, that little folder is cute. I don't know what to keep in the folders other than stickers. What do you guys keep in there? Let me know that down in the comments below because I don't know. I don't know what else to keep in there. Okay, the back cover and these covers, I love that. That's super cute. Okay, another teacher box kit, but this one's big, okay. So it's very similar. I love the journaling cards that they included. That's cute. It's interesting though that they're putting the teacher planners out in the March release. I don't remember them doing that before. And I don't think the teacher stickers are coming out. So maybe there will be more like teacher planners coming, but I feel like if I don't pick one up, I'm gonna miss it. So I might get a box kit and then wait and then see. So even though this is a big, it does have that overview. So it has that like two year, or not two year, it's like a school year overview essentially. So from August to July, I love that. Okay, and this one is really cute. It's not necessarily like watercolory, but it's really pretty. This is pretty too. So if you're interested in the big teacher planner and the big size, if you need more room to write, like if you are putting your lesson plans in here, that's cute. I like that divider. Let's root for each other and watch each other grow. Oh, the teacher quotes just get me right in the feels, you guys. 
super cute. Teachers rule, stay sharp. Teachers plant seeds that will grow forever. I hope so. Like I always wonder, like are my kids like thinking about me later when they don't have me as their teacher anymore? I always wonder. Oh, this is a long video, you guys. We're spending a lot of time together today. <laughs> Glad you're here. Hip hip hooray. These bright colors are so motivating in a teacher planner and they're just so fun. Okay, and then you have your big checklists in the back. Very cute. I like that this one is on black discs. I like that a lot. And the black and white stripes. Like you cannot go wrong on that back cover with the black and white stripes. Yep, that's a good one. They did well on their teacher planners this year. It's super pretty. Okay, anything else? Well, there's, got, oh no, we're pretty much done. Now we're just gonna wrap up with Hannah. So that is everything for this video. I'm sorry it was so long, but uh, you guys asked for me to react to the planners as well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did count how many times I said cute or whatever throughout or like, somebody commented that I'm saying like in my videos and that annoys them, sorry. But if you counted any of that stuff, Leave that down in the comments below and I will give you a virtual high five. So thank you guys again so much for stopping by. I appreciate you so, so much. If you are one of my current subscribers, thank you so much for being here. And I just wanna give you the biggest internet hug ever. You all are my favorite people on the internet and thank you all so much for all of the love and support. My channel has been getting so much love lately. You guys have been watching all of my rant videos, but Never fear, the positive is coming. I had some comments saying, oh my gosh, you're just like stirring up drama and like blah, blah, blah. No, the positive part is coming. So I started with the like ranty stuff, like what I dislike about the planner community or like pet peeves or whatever. And all the things that I love are coming next. So I have one plan with me this week and then some more face to camera, just cause that's what I'm feeling like doing. So if you have requests for any videos this week or next week, cause I am gonna be filming, feel free to let me know that down in the comments below. If you are not yet subscribed and you're just stopping by, feel free to hit that subscribe button before you leave. I would love it if you would join us and make sure that you also hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I post. And if you want to find me on other social sites, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And by the way, you guys have fun today. Bye.